Hello there, welcome back to Game Dev Tycoon. So, we uh, decided that I think we're going to do an engine engine upgrade this time. We have Greenbox City for my console, the Greenbox, through the Great Etern. Masterpiece, another turn, and must have another turn, and is that a perfect turn? Wait, what? Didn't I check this last time? I got a perfect score! Huh! Did I seriously get that last time and was oblivious to it when I named the video? Probably. That's weird. That's very weird. But not really too much I can do about it right now. So what do we want to do? I think we are going to develop a extra game here. We're going to put a little bit more money into the R&D department. No, we have maximum money there. Hardware lab. Budget 3 million. Alrighty. We're going to put that down. I'm feeling that something here is bugged. To be honest, uh, we'll just... no. Maybe? No. I think we're on the right time. I started to wonder if I've got to save the game, but I don't think so. So I can't actually figure out if something is wrong. I have to check outwards if something is missing. And I am sorry for the confusion. I got a 10 or 4 tens, which is great. So, let us just get right to creating our next game here. We're going to actually make a large MMO, I think. Uh, try and make a, uh, a military MMO. I'm actually going to try and make Titanfall as an MMO, which could get very interesting. And we're going to make it both for the PC here, and we're also going to add it in for the green box, I think. Just for fun, of course, and we're going to use the MMO engine. So, I'm actually going to be very mean here, or potentially infringe cover, I'm calling it Titanfall MMO. But hopefully we won't do that. So, I'll make it a large game for the beginning. And we might actually make a AAA uh, update to it. But for now... We want to make it AAA 60 million. No, we want to make it a regular one. And we're going to stick with the V5 graphics. This could actually be fairly interesting. Perfect game. At least a game with a clean score of 10. So, I hadn't actually done that apparently. Which is great. They didn't really uh, realize that. So... It's already, it's a 1.6 million copies in its first week. I earned what? 29 million in the first week of sales. That is, no matter how you, no matter how you slice it, that's hilarious. That is, uh, that is great. Can't really say anything on that. Uh, not anything at all, to be honest. One, two, basic physics rather than video playback, I think. And we're going to have the regular save game. Just put a little bit of extra energy into that. And we're going to get rid of the skill trees. Corporate play, perhaps, and better use experience, apparently. We do want to keep these three. We'll try this setup, see how that works. Should probably work alright. But I have no idea. Creating a military strategy game as a MMO is probably a horrible idea, and apparently, especially when all your guys need to go on vacation. So, yes, my timing on this is horrible. Ladies and gentlemen, the surprise hit of the year is Greenbox City by Hawk Inc. The progression in this story is just perfect. Just when you start to think things sell down, something surprising will happen. Greenbox City this really deserves the top spot in the chart. Tom Mott Center. So this thing could actually very well sell over 10 million units. It has 5.5 after 5 weeks, which is hilarious. So, uh, expectation of success on Titanfall will be modest, although I think the real Titanfall is going to do extremely well. 5 million sales, that is hilariously good. And it's for the green box. So this is actually kind of weird. I made it for the green box, but it has sold more units than the green box itself. So there's clearly some hardcore fans in there. Or potentially someone who's trying to port the game to something. I think it's rather the uh, the ladder there. So that's, that's fairly interesting, I'll be honest. But uh, it's also fairly, fairly fun to see. It means that things are working alright. So what I think we'll do after this game is actually sync up everyone's vacations and also do a little bit of research, hopefully. So uh, that should be interesting. We'll take a large booth here as well. And other than that, I don't really know what we want to do. We want to try and see if this thing actually sells over 10 million copies. That would be hilarious. And the green box with five, potentially 5 million units will make that a hilarious, uh, a hilarious comparison. But yeah, I'm going to do a lot of research now, and we're going to create a better, I think, uh, green box. We're going to make an upgrade to it, especially with Green Box City selling as well as it did, or does. We're going to uh, definitely add a lot to that. 1.4 million people uh, joining our club, so to speak, or visiting our booth. 
Do we need 3D? Yeah, no, we can cut out 3D and we'll use stereo sounds. We'll get rid of the uh, realistic weather and the rich backstory. It's seven bows, I should probably not do that, but everything is a plus here apparently, so we're going to do a little bit of everything. But yeah, I'm very surprised at uh, Greenbox City here. He'll definitely go 10 million mark. Brilliant diamond, sell 10 million copies of a game without the help of a publisher. Just got word that Greenbox City, which was recently released by Whole Game, has racked up over 10 million in sales. If the game were a music record, it would have diamond status. Incredible achievement, especially when you consider that what it came out for was the green box, which doesn't even have 5 million units sold. So everyone has two copies of the game. I believe I just released it for the green box. I'm pretty sure nobody actually bought it either. So yeah, I'm going to wait until these guys actually need a vacation of their own. And then we're going to take a prolonged one, I think. Or do I want to send the guy on vacation right now? So we're definitely going to patch Greenbox City. We're going to do that straight away. And I think we are going to send them on vacation. We're going to try and sync them up a little bit closer. So potentially here it will work out just fine. Software development kit. That is uh, apparently the way to make the uh, uh, several platform thing work out a little bit better for you. So we're definitely going to most likely use that uh, very soon here. Let's see if we can start any other projects. Own convention, not really. We're going to use them for research points rather than anything else. And we can afford to use 3 million because Greenbox City is selling so hilariously well. Do I want to train this guy in anything? Um, what do I want to use him for? No, we're going to do research, I think. Three specialists will be fine uh, at the moment. And we're going to do an upgrade of, uh, of the engine. We release a patch and people liked it, which is great. Do I want to just release Titan full MMO as it is? I think I do. 12.7 million units and 230 million in sales. That is that is hilarious. And Greenbox only still has 5 million units uh, sold. So it's hilarious and uh, I like it. So I think we are ready to release uh, the MMO here. And we are going to do a ton of research as soon as uh, we're done with this. So World Design is now level 10. Good. Did not level up any people, which is not perfect but not bad either i think we'll still stick to what we know we can do we're going to add visorius we're going to add software development kit we're going to add orchestral soundtracks i think that is probably the only thing we'll be able to add in uh, in this run i should probably put the guys in charge of doing stuff in charge of research and uh, game development dialogue seems to be not important platform genre match great platform audience match great works fairly perfect first reviews for titanfall probably going to be horrible Seven, a good game. Very good. Eight, eight, and another seven. Seven and a half. It's not bad. It's not bad considering that I just released a uh, perfect game per se. So that is uh, that's fairly all right. I'm going to get orchestral sound soundtrack, even though I should probably get something else. I think I can now also get the uh, MMO sequel set up. Looking at a pause multi-platform games, it becomes clear that we should be able to drastically reduce the cost of developing a single game for multiple platforms if we could better optimize our game engines for multi-platform development. Multi-platform optimi optimization? The MMOs on sale? MMOs work slightly different than normal games. MMOs not only generate income, but also cause maintenance costs as we need to run game servers and provide customer services. You will see the amount of maintenance paid in the sales card. Unlike other games, which have lim a limited sale, uh, duration MMO sell indefinitely. You will also have to decide yourself when you want to take an MMO off the market. To take an MMO off the market, simply click on the sales card to bring up that menu. Since MMOs are so expensive to create, you might want to try to expand your current MMO rather than create a new one. To do this, you will need to research a expansion pack, which you can start research now. So yeah, I got a lot of new research that I might probably want to do here. First of all, we're going to go multi-platform. Uh, I don't think that actually is something I need to put in the engine, however. Expansion pack is something I think I need to put in the engine. So I might have to wait here a little bit as to get the research points necessary to do that. Big question is, do I really want to wait or do I want to do something in the meantime? Like, can I actually develop a sequel to something here? Or do I want to wait and try and add at least... I don't think I need to actually... Multi-platform might be something I need to add, but that's that I think is about it. Um, expansion pack is something like uh, the uh, uh, the team setup or something like that. So I think what we will do is start, get that done. In the meantime, do a contract work here. 
Artificial intelligence is very important. Apart from Sean much action green box great. Yes, some additional insight. Focus our entire team. That's fair enough. Most of them needed a vacation when we did that. Clean up database, movies. Yeah, I guess we'll make a movie. We should have the power here to actually get this done, which is great. We'll also get a little bit of research points. And we're going to send these guys on vacation ASAP to try and sync everything up. We're going to make a uh, new engine. And we're going to basically call it the MMO 2.0. Or we could actually just go ahead and call it the Vesorius. Reason is we're going to add in, uh, well, V6. We're also going to get rid of. Do I want to keep the V4? Probably not. We're going to have V5, V6. Next AAA game is going to have amazing graphics, to put it that way. Software development kit, multi platform optimized. I actually needed to put this in my uh, engine, so I was correct on that assumption. Hopefully, I am also correct on the other one where I actually need to. Uh, where I actually need to put out, like, all the things. I'm still going to keep everything in the engine. People have been telling me that I shouldn't, but it's good to have a lot of options, especially when you want to put as many things into your engine as possible. And especially with AAA games, you have room for a lot. So yeah, we're going to create the Vesorius engine, and then we're going to create, hopefully, an expansion for the uh, Titanfall MMO here. It might actually go a little bit in negative for us while we do that, but I'm hoping that it won't. We'll make a large game, a large expansion, then we'll make a AAA expansion. I guess that is all we will have time for. What we will, however, do now is develop another console. And uh, do we want to use this variation? Yeah, we're going to use this one, and we're going to call the next one the Black Box. I'm pretty sure that with the things I've currently researched, it could become fairly good. Black Box is going to have V6 graphics, which is hilariously good. We're also going to add in Vesorius support, and that's about it. So we're basically doing uh, two upgrades, first of all to graphics, and second of all to uh, support Vesorius. It's going to be hilariously expensive, 139 million, but I think we can live with that. So we're going to sacrifice a lot of money to do this, but that was fun really, using money. Not saving it. So, uh, Titanfall MMO. No idea how well it'll actually do in the long run. But for now, it's doing fairly well for itself. It's actually uh, making a profit. But it's not anything we can count on. If this if this situation stays like this for too long, I'm, de I'm, I'm sure that I'll make a deficit. Especially with both the R&D lab, but also the... Uh, I can't actually train or research anything, which is kind of a annoying little thing here, because I would really like to be able to research. We can do, of course, training on these guys, but do I really want to slow myself down? I think I do. We're going to give him a programming course. We're going to give Harris here a... I do have one for world design. Do I have one for sound, I believe? Don't I? No, I don't, actually. So I'm going to give him a world design. No, we're not going to do that right now. We're not going to risk it, so to speak. Uh, I need those two, 150 points to do a, uh, a expansion pack. Uh, research and unfortunately I couldn't actually do that while the engine was being created so Right now we are going to research. I think I'm going to put myself in charge of this and we can then use train on two others We're going to research the expansion pack and once that is done we will be uh, we'll be making things well work working hopefully This could potentially give me a boost to Titanfall sales and I'm going to need that I'll probably lose 100 no 50 to 100 mil uh, Simply because I have to wait right now but uh, it should be fine. One and a half million people visited our booth. We're still number one, so we're not in a horrible spot by any any reach. We are going to do three. I'm going to upgrade um, some people though, which is probably for the best here. Programming course. We're going to get Bowen here. A. Do I actually want to do? I can't actually remember what I wanted this guy to do. I have gameplay. I have an engine guy planned. That will assign dialogues, artificial intelligence. I don't really think we, this guy will be a specialist in anything. We're just going to give him a programming course. And we're going to put you in charge of another programming course. And so are you, Mr. Leroy. Unless you are where we want you to be. It's actually where we want him to be. So we'll give him a design course just for... Well... No, we're going to give him another programming course. I should probably not have done that, judging by the fact that the expansion pack is nearly done. So yeah. Going to wait a little while longer here to get these guys done, and then we're going to start a new game here. Boost or try to get a boost here to Titanfall MMO before we get into trouble. And I guess we might as well just start now. So we're going to develop an expansion pack for Titanfall. And I guess we're going to call the Siege. I would imagine Titanfall sieging the big wall would be, or Titan sieging a big wall would be fun. So we're going to call it Siege. We're still going to use 8.8 uh, 8 million. I'm not going actually to release it for any of those. I don't want to give them 
give them any more uh, market advantage per se. And uh, we're going to use Vesorius, going to add a couple of things here. With the AAA title, we're going to definitely make some uh, some interesting ads. We won't be using the V6 until then, because it demands, judging by cost, twice as much as the V5, and it still is using a lot of, uh, a lot of well, our stuff to work. So, we'll be... Sorry, we'll be cautious at this stage. We'll stick with what we have. It created a good game, even though most of the team were, well, tired. So, uh, we'll make this work, but we're out of time. So we'll make the expansion pack next time. Thank you for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed this. And uh, hopefully, I'll see you around next time. Bye.